guys welcome back to another episode of learning with isha so we began talking about biomolecules and in the video we today we will continue doing the same so today we are going to talk about amino acids what are amino acids well amino acids are these small units that make up eventually what a protein a protein might be a more familiar word to you right kaha milte hain proteins proteins practically hamari body ke bahut important components hote hain for our muscle growth what do we need we need proteins for any molecule for any charged molecule to pass through our cell membrane we need a protein most enzymes are what proteins so that is why to understand proteins we need to understand what makes these proteins right these amino acids so what are amino acids well guys amino acids are organic compounds okay they have a carbon they have a hydrogen they are organic compounds okay having an alpha carbon what is an alpha carbon a carbon has four valencies when all the four valencies are different it is known as an asymmetric carbon it is known as an asymmetric carbon the first carbon to which all the groups are attached is known as the alpha carbon so in an amino acid we have both an asymmetric carbon and the alpha carbon which is this one present in the center okay now this alpha carbon has some substituents let's see what are they first is a carboxylic acid group carboxylic acid group Take a second and try to think which is the carboxylic acid group. Let me give you four options. Is it COOH? Is it OH? Is it SH? Or is it simply H? Okay, the first one is called the carboxylic acid group. Okay, so this is going to make my first substituent. The second substituent is an amino group. Okay, the amino group is an NH two group, so it will be present on the other end. Well, this carbon has one hydrogen and another group called the R group. What is the R group? Well, the R group represents a variable group. Variable kya hota hai? Anything that is not fixed, like in maths we use x and y to denote variable terms. Similarly, here we have a variable group. This variable group could be a hydrogen, it could be an OH, it could be a CH three. So depending on what this variable group is, I'm going to classify my amino acids. Okay. Now let's say my variable group is H. I'd call that amino acid as glycine. Let's say my variable group is CH two OH. I would call this amino acid serine. so on so it is the r group which is going to determine ki mere amino acid ka naam kya hoga okay that makes sense there is a carbon known as the alpha carbon it has two major substituents this is fixed the cooh group is fixed the nh2 group is fixed the hydrogen is fixed okay the hydrogen is not considered as a functional group okay there are only two substituents these two functional groups okay the hydrogen is present to satisfy the valency of carbon now here we have another r group which is going to determine what kind of amino acid am i talking about so now amino acids are called substituted methanes so for that you need to think what is the structure of methane i need to pause the video and try to draw it yours the structure of methane is carbon that has four hydrogens okay now what is happening this hydrogen is being substituted by the carboxylic acid group this one by the amino group the third one by the variable group what am i getting i'm getting an amino acid that is why my amino acid is also called a substituted methane hope that makes sense okay Now moving on, we're going to talk about some amino acids that are present in the protein. Okay, so amino acids are broadly of two categories. 
the ones present in protein and the ones that do not make up protein. So let's talk about it in the next part. I want to ask you a question. Are all amino acids found in proteins? What would be your answer? Yes or no? The question is, kya sare amino acids sirf proteins pe present hote hai? Ya amino acids kahi aur pe bhi present ho sakte hai? Think about it. Take a minute. Well, the answer to this question is no. Amino acids are not only found in proteins. Wo aur bhi jagah pe milte hai. Okay? But please note that the amino acids that form proteins are fixed. There are only 20 amino acids that form proteins. No more than 20, no less than 20. Only 20 amino acids form proteins. Besides these 20 amino acids, there are other amino acids also. Let's say ornithine or an amino acid called gamma amino butyric acid. It is a neurotransmitter, okay? So, the amino acids that form protein, I repeat again, are only 20. Now, what dictates the formation of these amino acids? Everything in our body is dictated by our genetic material. What is that? DNA or RNA? Our genetic material is DNA. Okay? DNA is what? A sequence of nucleotides. Adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Okay? Let's say I'll consider a sequence A, T, G, C, A, T, G. Okay, now what is going to happen? This DNA is going to form mRNA and this mRNA is going to form protein. Okay, so an mRNA will be formed and eventually my protein will be formed. Now for the formation of protein, I require what? My building block, what is my building block? The amino acid, okay? So amino acid will be formed in steps of three, dictated by something we know, know as the genetic code, okay? What is the genetic code? It is three letter combinations of nucleotides. So in the first step, let's take three letters, okay? Let's say G, A, T, okay? Now, three letter combinations of what? Nucleotides. What are these three letter combinations called? They are called codons. Okay. So, these codons specify for what? Amino acids. So, these three will specify an amino acid 1, which will get bound to an amino acid 2. Here, we'll get an amino acid 3. Okay. So, these amino acids come together to form what? A protein. A protein is what? A polymer of what small units called amino acid. Okay. So now in the next part, we are going to look at the classification of these amino acids. I told you the classification is based on the variable group R. As the variable group will keep changing, we will keep classifying amino acids into different categories. Thank you for today.